Hello bookworms! Today I'm going to be doing my Harry Potter bookshelf tour. Today is Harry Potter's birthday, so happy birthday Harry, and here we go! So the first shelf has the Harry Potter trunk that my Juniper Books Ravenclaw box set came in. Um, you'll be seeing those a little bit later on in the tour. And then on top of that I have um, a couple of wands which I'll show you. First I have Luna Lovegood's wand which is one of my favorites because I love the ending on it. This is just a pretty box so I wanted to show it. But then I have Queenie's wand from Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. This is my favorite Fantastic Beasts wand. I love the pearl shell on the bottom um, and the contrast of it against the black wood. I just think it's so beautiful and it's so 20s. Then I have two wands from Ollivanders. Andrew and I were lucky enough to be gifted these when we were on our honeymoon at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Um, so this is the one that Ollivander chose for me. He did like a private skit for just Andrew and I and this is the wand that chose me. Then this is the second Ollivander's box. And this is the wand that shows Andrew. The next shelf is kind of like dark wizards and serious. Um, so I have a Dementor Funko, I have a Sirius Funko, I have one of the Funko mystery minis of Sirius in his Animagus form. I have the exclusive of Lucius Malfoy with his Death Eater mask. Um, I have the exclusive of Bellatrix Lestrange, and I have regular Lucius Malfoy, and then behind that I have a Hogwarts Express backpack, um, and a candle, I think it's, oh, Highland Bluff, it's from, and it has a Deathly Hollows symbol on it. The next shelf has the Noble Collection Harry Potter Limited Edition statues. Um, the first one that I have is Dobby, the second one is Hedwig, the third one is Griphook, um, and on top of that, I have the six sampler candles from the Melting Library's Diagon Alley sampler, and she said that she's going to be coming out with some full-size candles of those, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, and then in front of the Noble Collection statues, I have a Voldemort Funko figure, I have a Nagini Mystery Mini uh, figure, I have the Snitch that is on that little platform. Then I have a Bellatrix candle that came in a villain sampler from the Melting Library. Um, and then I have the regular Bellatrix Lestrange Funko figure. So the next shelf I have two more candles from Highland Bluff and I will move one of the Funkos so that you can see what it says. But I have the Ron Weasley and Harry Potter plush from Barnes & Noble. In the middle I have the mirror of Irised frame that I got from Harry Potter World in Florida. Um, and inside of it I have the artwork that Andrew did for me uh, when we were getting married. I asked him if he could draw, um, well the girl on the right is me, that has a Ravenclaw scarf, and then the girl on the left, he changed the hair color and the length and everything for each one, um, for each of my bridesmaids, and changed their scarf to whatever Hogwarts house they were in, and that's how I asked them if they would be my bridesmaids or maid of honor. That one specifically in that photo is me and Cassie. Then I have the Fred or George Weasley Funko figure, Harry Potter holding the sword of Godric Gryffindor. That one was an exclusive to Hot Topic. Then I have the sorting hat pen holder from the Noble Collection. Um, I have Harry Potter holding the prophecy from the Order of the Phoenix. And then I have Fred or George Weasley, the pair to the other Funko. The other Highland Bluff candle says Lumos. And then, just so you can see the artwork a little bit better, um, it also has me and whatever friend I'm with, like, crossing wands at the bottom. The next shelf has a Hedwig mug, and that was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. On top of that is a Harry Potter figure from Quantum Mechanics. Behind that is a Marauder's Map latte mug from Hot Topic. Um, inside of that is the Hermione plush. Next to that is a really old plaque of Harry Potter catching the snitch. Next to that is a mug that says you're just the same as I am. It's a Luna Lovegood mug and inside of that are all of the Harry Potter bookmarks that I currently own. Then I have a chocolate frog as well as this Hogwarts Express wallet that I got at Hot Topic. And to the right of that hanging between shelves I have the diadem of Ravenclaw. Then I have my Fantastic Beasts shelf. Starting from the bottom left, I have the Mandrake, that, the Cornish Pixie, and the Gritty Low, which are also 
on the shelf were an exclusive three pack that were sold at Barnes & Noble during San Diego Comic-Con last year. Then behind that I have Jacob from Fantastic Beasts, Queenie, um, I have the Newt Scamander, Funko, that was also a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. And then, not sure if you can totally make him out, but Pickett is back there with the original Newt Scamander Funko. And then in front of that I have a Newt Scamander bookmark. Then I have the Newt Scamander movie scrapbook from Fantastic Beasts. Then I have Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, the original screenplay. And this is one of my favorite books because it's just so beautifully done. On top of that I have a Niffler Funko. Then I have all the new covers of the Hogwarts Library, the first one being The Tales of the Beetle Bard, Quidditch Through the Ages, and Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, and I have the edition that has the misprint in the Hippograph section. Then I have the Melting Library's Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them sampler, which included the Niffler, Kowalski's Bakery, which is my favorite one, Giggle Water, which is my second favorite one, Beastly Briefcase, Tina and Queenie's Apartment, and pick it. Then behind Newt I have the Demi Guys and the it, Hot Topic invisible version of the Demi Guys. Next to that is a Niffler candle from Meraki Candles. On top of that is the Percival Graves Funko. Next to him is the Serafina Funko. Behind all of that is the Case of Fantastic Beasts, Explore the Film Wizardry of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them book. And then I have the original Hogwarts Library which has Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, Quidditch Through the Ages, and The Tales of the Beetle Bard. This next shelf has books that are based on the Harry Potter films, but in front of those books I have the Sirius Funko. I actually have a double of that one because one of them came in a loot crate. Um, and then next to that I have a Draco Malfoy plush. First is Harry Potter the Character Vault. Then I have the Artifact Vault, the Creature Vault, Harry Potter Magical Places from the Films, Harry Potter Film Wizardry, J.K. Rowling's Wizarding World Movie Magic Volume 1, J.K. Rowling's Wizarding World Movie Magic Volume 2, the Hermione Granger Film Artifact Box, the Harry Potter Film Artifact Box, the Ron Weasley Film Artifact Box, the Harry Potter Coloring Book, and the Harry Potter Magical Artifacts Coloring Book. Then I have the Harry Potter Cinematic Guide Collection box set that includes Ron Weasley, Albus Dumbledore, Hermione Granger, and Harry Potter with really messy hair. Then I have some artwork. So I don't know all of the artists, but I will do my best to leave links to things if I can find them. So I have a little portrait of a grumpy looking Snape. Then I have Harry in the snow with Hedwig. Below that I have a giant a uh, piece of Luna Lovegood. Um, next to that I have an Expecto Patronum print and that is from Lexi Olivia Shop. Below that I have a print of Newt Scamander. That is by Sibylline, but I know that she's no longer selling it. Um, and then below that I have Hermione sitting on top of books and levitating some feathers. That I believe is by The Painted Shoe. Then in the next column I have an R for Ravenclaw and it is made up of lots of different Hogwarts things like um, a Ravenclaw tie, the Deathly Hollow symbol, Luna's glasses, there's some books in there, Hedwig, the Snitch, the Diadem of Ravenclaw, and a bunch of other things too. Then below that I have a poster from when Andrew and I saw the Potter Puppet Pals perform at the Yule Ball in Brooklyn. And then below that I have a print of Harry, Ron, and Hermione, and that is by Suzanne Draws. On this shelf I have the flocked version of Fox, the mystery mini. Behind him is Harry Potter in his Quidditch robes. Next to him is Harry Potter in his Christmas sweater from Mrs. Weasley and next to him is Ron in his Christmas sweater as well. Um, and then in front of them is a happy birthday Harry cake that's actually a magnet. Then I have the Luna Lovegood rock candy statue. Then I have Draco Malfoy in his dress robes. Next to Draco is this Meet Harry Potter button that I got um, for the release of The Cursed Child. Then I have the non-flocked version of Fox the Phoenix. Then I have a couple of enamel pins. The first one says Mischief Managed and that is by Ink and Wonder and it is Glow in the Dark. Next to that I have the three Harry, Hermione, and Ron enamel pins from I believe the shop is Tilly. 
Um, then I have a sorting hat pin that I got in a loot crate, and then I have a prefect badge that I got at the Wizarding Worlds of Harry Potter. Then going back over to the left, right at the top I have the three original Ron, Harry, and Hermione figures, and Luna along with them. Um, and then underneath them I have a bunch of candles. So starting from the bottom left corner, I have Holiday at Hogwarts, Honey Dukes, and Ravenclaw. All three of those are Wick and Fable candles. Um, next to that, I have a Welcome to Hogwarts candle from the Melting Library. Then starting in the second row, I have a Butterbrew candle from In the Wick of Time, a Wizard's Brew candle from the Melting Library, and the Forbidden Forest candle from the Melting Library. Then next to that, I have the Draco candle from Meraki Candles. Um, and the next three are also Meraki candles, and they are Marauder, Birdie Bots, and Flourish and Blots. Then I have the 10th anniversary edition of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. That is the hardcover edition. Um, on top of that, I have Luna Lovegood's glasses. Behind that, I have the Marauder's Map from the Noble Collection, but I'm not going to take it out because it tends to fall open. Next to that, I have a sorting hat candle that I got in a fan mailbox. Um, and once you burn it, there's a Ravenclaw charm inside because I got the Ravenclaw box, obviously. On top of that, I have Harry in the sorting hat as a Funko figure. Next to that, I have Harry's glasses. I have a little Hogwarts suitcase that I got from Hot Topic. Um, and then I have the Hot Topic exclusive version of Harry Potter holding Hedwig wearing his like winter robes. Underneath that, I have the illustrated editions of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone and Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, but I'm not going to take those out either because I think everybody knows what those covers look like at this point. The next shelf I have Hermione's Time Turner, which is from the Noble Collection, and I got mine at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Then I have Ron in his dress robes, I have a bottle of Amortentia, I have Hermione in her dress robes, I have Harry holding the golden egg from the Triwizard Tournament, Underneath him is a candle from Meraki Candles called The Burrow. Um, next to that is the Funko of Cedric Diggory. Next to that is a bottle of Polyjuice Potion. Then I have Fourth Year Angry Dumbledore. Then I have a Happy Birthday candle, which is obviously what Hagrid writes on Harry's cake. And on top of that is Hagrid. On top of my books, I have some Harry Potter artwork. So there's Hermione in her dress robes surrounded by books. There's a Niffler. There's Picket. There is a bunch of trunks and an owl cage. And it says platform nine and three quarters. Um, and then I have a print of Luna. And it says something in, I want to say French. So I'm not quite sure, but I would imagine it's something about being seen. Then I have three more Luna Lovegood specific art pieces. These are from Riddle's Tea Shop on Etsy. Then I have my playbill for when I saw Puffs or seven increasingly eventful years at a certain school of magic and magic. The same night that I saw that they also did a staged reading of 19 years later or there and back again of Puffs Tale parts one and three. And now the books. Um, so first I have the original US hardcover editions. The first one being Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. The second one being Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. The third one being Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. The fourth one being Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. The fifth one being Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. The sixth one being Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. And the final book being Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. And from now on, I'm not going to say Harry Potter and for the rest of the book titles. Then I have the Cursed Child Parts 1 and 2 Special Rehearsal Edition script. Then I have the Slipcase Editions of Harry Potter. They're all hardback and they're all published in the UK by Bloomsbury and the final one just released a couple of days ago. Um, so the first one is The Philosopher's Stone. The second one is Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, and Deathly Hallows. Then I have the 20th anniversary paperback editions of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. The first one is Hufflepuff, the second one is Ravenclaw, the third one is Slytherin, and the fourth one is Gryffindor. And each of the pages are sprayed to completely match the book cover. On the shelf I have a container of flu powder. I have the Dumbledore Funko. Then I have a bottle of Mermaid Tears. I have the McGonagall Funko. I have some Unicorn Blood. 
Um, I have a cross stitch that my friend Jill made for me for my bridal shower. Um, I have the Severus Snape Funko and I have a bottle of pumpkin juice from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Then on top of the books here, I have the little Hermione, Harry, Ron, and McGonagall mystery minis. Ginger was kind enough to send me McGonagall, so thank you again for that. And now I'll show you the books and stuff. First I have a Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows locket. This was in a loot crate box. Then I have the Harry Potter postcard coloring book. Then I have the Moleskine Harry Potter limited edition journals. The first one says Expecto Patronum, and then the other one is the Marauder's Map. Then I have the signature hardback editions of the series, the first one being the Philosopher's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, Deathly Hollows. Then I have the 20th anniversary Hogwarts House editions of the Philosopher's Stone. The first one is the Ravenclaw edition, the second one's a Slytherin edition, the third one is Hufflepuff, and the fourth one is Gryffindor, and I'm just gonna turn them around so that you can see the beautiful sprayed pages that match the scarves. So again, it's Ravenclaw, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, and Gryffindor. Then I have the Harry Potter Complete 8 Film Collection on Blu-ray. The Target exclusive edition of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them with the pop-up case and the Winter at Hogwarts coloring set. Next are the Juniper Ravenclaw editions of the entire Harry Potter series, and I'm not gonna pull all of these out because they literally have the exact same cover, it's just that the font is different on each one, um, and that includes the first seven books in the series, and then it also includes the um, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child script. And finally, the last shelf, hooray! Okay, so first on the shelf I have a little box of Birdie Bot's Every Flavor Beans. Behind that I have a Marauder's Mug map, which I got from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Next to that I have the Funko of Professor Moody. Then I have a potions bottle of Veretta Serum. In front of that I have the Neville Funko. Behind that I have Severus Snape's Memories. Next to Neville I have the Draco Malfoy Funko. Next to him is Harry Potter. Next to him is Dobby. Then I have the Harry Potter uh, first school year Funko. I have the oversized Hagrid Funko and I have the Ron first school year Funko. So behind there I have um, Hedwig. That's the noble collection Hedwig statue. Then I have Harry Potter page to screen, which is the biggest, heaviest book ever. Then I have the UK paperback editions of Harry Potter, which I am considering upgrading to hardcovers. So first is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, and Deathly Hollows. Then I have a chocolate frog box from The Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Behind that I have a tin that has Harry Potter on it, um, and inside of that I have all of the cards from the chocolate frogs that I have gotten in my lifetime. I've actually realized that of the ones that I've gotten from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, I have like three of Godric Gryffindor and four of Helga Hufflepuff, so I definitely need to get more of those because that's crazy that I only have two cards with so many of those. <laughs> but on top of that I have first year Hermione holding her books and the worst character in all of Harry Potter, Dolores Umbridge. Behind Dobby I have a pop-up gallery of curiosities, which is like a pop-up book that has scenes from both Fantastic Beasts and Harry Potter. Then up top I have the first car of the Hogwarts train. Um, I also have the second two cars, but I don't really have space for them, so they're in storage right now. And then below the Hogwarts train, hanging down over the books, I have bookmarks from Happy Hello Co. There's Luna, Hermione, Harry, Ron, Fred, and George. Then I have the US paperback versions of Harry Potter, and these are the ones that have the spines that make up the Hogwarts castle. So there's Sorcerer's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, and Deathly Hallows. So those are all of the things that I currently have on my Harry Potter shelves. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon in a new video. Bye!